Okay, folks, starting this month, we're gonna change it up a little bit. We're gonna start splitting the Bass Scoop into a bi-monthly format. This week, we're gonna let some of the top finishers from the FLW events last weekend give us an in-depth report on how to catch them out here on the California Delta. We're out here at Russo's Marina on Bethel Island for the FLW College Fishing Championship. We've got the Zach Attack from Oregon State University. For the last week out here on the California Delta, we've had temperatures that have gone into the triple digits. You know, we had a couple of days of practice where the, the air temperature was 95, 98, 100 degrees. It peaked and then it started to slide down, slide downwards as the tournament came that started to cool off. We had a 20 degree air temperature change. Did that affect you guys at all? Did that go into your thinking at all? Uh, you know, we thought it would, but we started off throwing a chatterbait and we caught that big one and then we moved and then we just started frogging and so, for some reason they were on this morning. Like we caught, had, we caught those four real quick and then we kept moving around and got a couple more blowups, no real coals. And then it just died. Then we couldn't catch a fish. And then we just were fortunate enough again to run back into the Franks and he cut another one on the Cinco and called out for about five ounces. So you can't ask for a better day than that. That's awesome. Zach Attack all the way down here from Oregon State. Good job, boys. And uh, we'll see you guys. Your next one's going to be at Clear Lake? Uh, New Malonis. And then we're going to Clear Lake. So, yeah, we're definitely looking forward to Clear Lake. All right, guys. FLW College Fishing. If you want to keep track of these guys right here, click on the Zach Attack out of Oregon State. They just clipped this one right here. They're going to be at Maloney's in their next event. And then the championship will be at Clear Lake this fall. Good luck, boys. What a cheer and section. How are you, pal? I'm doing good. It's been a fun time, real fun time. Digging for fish number four, looking for 13 2. Well, they're getting bigger now. Fish number four. Let's see if he's got his five bass limit. Whoa! I guess he does. It is going to be close, folks. Five bass limit. He needs 13, you didn't think I was going to move my hand so you could see that scale, did you? 13 pounds, 2 ounces is what he needs. A 5 bass limit today to weigh. 13 pounds, 3 ounces! I'm going to move that chair, we don't need him to trip over anything. Ladies and gentlemen, we're here at the 2014 FLW event out here on the California Delta. I've got the co-angler champion. Darren Vieira from Martinez, he's a local boy, and he pulled it off. You beat 143 other co-anglers in this event. You, this was a three-day event for you. You know, two days to qualify for that third day, yes. the third most important day when that boat's on the line and you pulled that thing off. Our weather has changed. We had triple-digit weather last week, and then we went into a cooling trend. You said that you were using a frog, and I'm glad you were using the one that you were using. Yeah. Tell me how that weather fluctuation affected that frog bite you were on. Uh, it, it, it did, it did. I, I, I pulled off, I think, uh, two fish each day with a frog. I whipped out the uh, Bobby Perfect Frog, and um, today it was one that counted, I think it was like a two and a half, three pounder. Um, it went with that one that I had was probably six pounds that I got uh, pump, punching. Uh, we did a lot of punching. Yesterday was a Cinco bite. We did all Cinco, uh, a couple on blade, spinner bait. That's about it, basically. Uh, yeah. All right, Darren. Congratulations again, the 2014 FLW Delta champion on the co-angler side. From Turlock, California, Bob Tosh, let's give him a big round of applause. How are you, buddy? I'm awesome, I'm awesome. I get so jacked up for these deals the first day I just took myself out of it almost, so I had to play catch up the whole time. So. Well, you got to have 14 pounds, eight ounces to get that seat. 3711 coming in. Let's get them out one at a time. What about $175,000 with us? 12th event, fourth top 10. Fish number one. Good solid keeper there. Looking for 14.8. Needing 14 pounds, eight ounces. Whoa, there's another good fish. Digging for fish number four. Needing 14.8. Digging for fish number five. Whoa, there's another good one. Five bass limit, needing 14 pounds, eight ounces. His five bass limit today weighs 20 pounds, 15 ounces, 58.10. New leader.
Thank you, buddy. Good fish there. Don't know if it's enough. It's got to be a monster. 1912 is what we're looking for. Whoa! Woo! Hey, Todd, you didn't have to measure that one, did you, buddy? Five bass limit. Looking for 19 pounds, 12 ounces. His five bass limit today weighs 18 pounds, 13 ounces, 57 11, all the way to second place. Brother had some nice things to say about you, man. He's all right, man. I really like him, you know I mean? I paid for his entry to get here, and uh, I mean, look at the crowd. This place is awesome. I enjoy coming to the Delta every time. And, uh, you know, Bub here, he uh, bumped me out of the jacket. Like, I'm a little mad about that, so I'm going to get him back. You're going to get him back. Well, I understand. you got to have 13 pounds, 6 ounces to do that. Get them out one at a time. Digging for fish number 4. Another good chunk there. Digging for fish number 5. Another good fish there. Needing 13 pounds, 6 ounces. Got a 5 bass limit. His five bass limit today weighs 18 pounds, three ounces, 63.7. Let's give him a big round of applause. Good job, Bob. But uh, I caught everything uh, this week uh, on a DNM and m uh, piranha. And then once I, once I got my you know, 18 to 20 pounds a day, I would go you know, throw a compers uh, frog around, try to catch a kicker. The first day I got two big kickers, but uh, Second day and the third day, no kicker. So, but I'm happy uh, about what I found. So, that is ugly. He needs 17, 12 to take the lead from Fairfield, California. Mark Daniels Jr. Let's give him a big round of applause. How are you? Oh man, I'm doing great, man. I'm back home. It feels great. He's won $210,000 with us. Sixth event. Second top 10, fish number one. Looking for 17, 12. Digging for fish number two. Needs 17 pounds, 12 ounces. Whoa. Fish number two. Digging for fish number three. Whoa. Seventeen twelves the mark to be. Digging for fish number four. Oh! Let's see if he's got his five bass limit. Yeah. He thinks there's one more in there, maybe. Yes, he does. Almost need sideboards for the old box right here. I got heads sticking out everywhere. Settle down, girls. We're going to put you back. We're going, boo! Five bass limit. 26 pounds, 12 ounces. Woo! 46-4 coming in. He's 26-3 to take the lead. Tobuco Canyon, California. Kyle Grover, let's give Kyle a big round of applause. But I really wasn't expecting to do this well. But when I caught, I caught the first one, that was like, yeah, I can make the cut now. Then I caught the second one, and I got a shot to win now. But it was a lot of fun, you know. But the the main key to my whole deal was throwing that chatterbait on straight braid, you know, just kind of like how Molten won last year. You know, I had to throw it in the grass like these guys are punching it i was throwing a chatterbait in it and ripping it out every single bite it gets stuck in the grass i'd rip it as hard as like he has my co and just rip it and rip it out of the grass and they would just hammer it we're gonna crown us a champion right here folks mark step up here and watch this buddy i also wanted to thank my girlfriend for letting me come up here for smart move good move good move right there at the last i like that Digging for fish number one, needing 26-3. Won about $4,200 with us. Fourth of in, first top 10. Digging for fish number four. Whoa, there's a good one. Digging for fish number five. Whoa. 
five bass limit today. He needs 26 pounds, three ounces. Most importantly, moving up enough to get more money. Five bass limited weights. 19 pounds, five ounces, 65.9. First year winner. Good job, Kyle. Your 2014 Cal Delta champion, Buck Daniels Jr. Folks, we're here at the FLW event that just finished. We got Mark Daniels Jr. who pulled this thing off. A three-day event. You had 73... Whatever. He had almost 74 pounds. He's like dominated the Delta before he went on the road and did the TBF thing. He's just been hotter than a firecracker over the last five, seven years, honing his craft out here so that he can go on the road and be competitive. And I know, you know, you're, you're in, you're an apprenticeship program right now. And as soon as he becomes a journeyman out there on the road, those guys are in trouble. I know you've been taking a lot of my money over the last few years. And I know you guys out east, you guys are fixing to get your wallets picked by this guy, okay? Let's talk about the last few days. You came out here, you've been on the road, you came out here and you put this thing together in a short span. Walk me through your practice and how day one, day two, and day three went. We got out there on a very low tide during the practice period. Um, you know, the tide started to become uh, higher throughout the week. We got more and more to high tide, which I did not want. I went to low tide because we were doing a lot of flipping. And so, you know, we just got on that punch bite immediately, man. And uh, it wasn't a bite where you can go out and you, wasn't, you weren't going to catch 30 fish. But you were going to get bit and you were going to catch a good one. And so... That's what I did, and I just rolled with it. I mixed it up with some top water. I threw some buzz baits and some frogs as well, but that was my main go-to. We have great fisheries out here, man, and you can do anything from two-pound test drop shot and 60-foot to 80-pound braid out here throwing a Bobby's Perfect Frog, whacking them in the head. I mean, it's there. You know, the opportunities are there. And so, you know, I think it is a great place to train and, and learn to take your you know, your, your talent elsewhere. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, it's still that rookie aspect, and you don't know these bodies of water, so you do have to get out in a little bit and you have to learn and figure things out and that's where I'm at right now but you know it's my rookie season and I'm looking forward to the future. I've been watching this guy for about the last 10 years 12 years and I've watched him do this kind of he's like a he's like an IPO fixing to go public <laughs> on the on the Wall Street. <laughs> that's funny Bobby and I appreciate the kind words and something that you probably don't know uh, out here on the Delta I've been fishing out here since I was a kid 10 11 years old and we fished all these Angler's Choice tournaments over the years. You and me, I've competed against you my whole career. And I have to say, I look up to you as one of the, as, as, as the highest angler out here on the river. And that's coming from the heart. That, and not, that's not no joke, man. Uh, you've always been a stand-up guy. You, you know, you don't have to worry about you poaching water, cutting people off. I mean, we've bumped into each other thousands of times, man. And I, and I really respect that. And that means a lot to me. And so I really look up to you and uh, everything you guys are doing with this new show. This is awesome. And... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, man, I'm, I'm just enjoying this right now. I tell, I, I tell you what, this sport needs more guys like this guy right here. He's coming on. He's coming strong. And I, I can't, I'm just going to sit back and watch. I think I know how the movie ends, but I'll tell you what, I'm going to enjoy watching this one. <laughs>